What's up, everybody? Mike check. Mike check. All right, we should be live. All right, so far, so good. Sounds good. All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. This is your boy Culture, a.k.a. Cat and Poncho. Thanks for joining me. Uh, tonight, we are continuing the playthrough of Max Payne 3. We're going to have some fun. Shoot some bad guys. Do some uh, crazy John Wick action <clears throat> across South America. And uh, get revenge and retribution for, for Max. But yeah, this is a, uh, a tribute playthrough. Uh, John McFree, the guy who was the voice of Max Payne, uh, passed away last week on the 17th. So I figured, you know what? Let's do a little playthrough. It wasn't a bad game. I had a good time when I played it. Why not uh, relive the magic? <laughs> What's old is new again, right? I'll also be doing some more playthroughs of some older games that were um, stellar. Have some great action. Uh, we got Vanquish on deck. If you're not familiar with that, look that one up. That's a Sega classic, Vanquish. Um, trying to think what else. Yeah, there'll be a few other things I'll pull out of my archives. Otherwise, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. This time, this time, the game should play fair, and we shouldn't have any uh, any big issues. Uh, I did a, did do some adjustment to the graphics, did some adjustment to the stream as well. So far, it looks like everything's going through okay. So I'll be keeping my eye on it. If you were here last night, there were some hiccups. So hiccups will be had. Technical issues will be had. It's a thing. Yeah, it's always to be expected. But hey, in the end, we have fun. Which is all that matters. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm already catching... I'm already catching L's from YouTube. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Sunkiss. Um, Queen... I'm already catching L's from YouTube buffering. Talk about it's buffering. Let me check something. Let me check something, something. I don't know why YouTube is tripping. I'm not doing nothing fancy. Let's see. It might just be, you see, now it's all like, everything's fine. No problems. YouTube has a mind of its own. Let's see what happens. All right, when we left our hero, we were in a bar fight. We about to turn up in the bar. Oh yeah, I got out the bar fight. My bad. I did move ahead a little bit in the story. Uh, after the bar fight, we escaped out the back and we wound up here in a uh, warehouse, uh, chop shop. Got him. I'm 
fine with the leather. Get some ammo. This don't show the blood so much. Let's look around for a few secrets. Secret. And what's up to Queen? What's up to Kawhi? Thank you for joining. Hidden away for a rainy day. And also, Team Replay. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I wanted to prove the killer's wrong. Oops, that was my homie. <gasps> yes, please subscribe for all kinds of bloopers. Just like that. I just shot my homie. Now I'm mad. You guys made me shoot my homie. Actually, nobody was around. I did that on my own. Oh. He almost in me? He did. This don't show the blood so much. All right, yeah, let's not let's not shoot our uh, our friendly this time. No friendly fire. How's this look? Around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh... You want a job yet, Max? <laughs> All right. Chapter five. We were miles up the Tiente River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. So why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's got to be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. 
I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So dramatic. So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, you quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Supposed to just take him out or get up there somehow. Looked like Passos had brought us to the okay. right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombre used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Pause right there for one second because YouTube's tossing up errors again. Give me a minute. Yeah, what's up, Leo? Yeah, man, I like um, the retro games. I'm playing through Max Payne 3 because um, the voice actor passed away on the 17th. So I'm like, oh, man, that sucks because I remember all the Max Paynes. I played through all of them. But yeah, I like, I like the retro games, too. And... Uh, I'm going to run back some some like what's old is new type type playbacks too, man. I'm going to I'm going to bring back like Vanquish. Vanquish was a good one by Sega. I'm going to bring that back. There's a there's a few others I'm going to bring back too. Give me one sec. I'm going to go back to the gameplay here in a second, but like YouTube keeps erroring out telling me that my stream sucks when it really doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing this. Everything should be good to go. But I'm just taking a quick look. Everything's set to go to YouTube, right? Everything's set up as far as streaming's right on my side, so there isn't really much I can do. Um, so we're just gonna play through it. But, eh, YouTube streets are busy anyway tonight, so I'm sure there's uh, there's a lot going on. All right, I got that running. And the studio looks good. 
I'm actually going to drop that down. See if that helps. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wolverine leaks, GTA 6 leaks, and everyone's getting SA charges. Right. It's ridiculous across the internet, man. There's all kinds of insanity going on right now. All right. Let's see if we can run this. Lord of mercy. What are we supposed to be doing right now? We just crept up here. He looked at the helicopter. So we know it's the bandits that stole the girl. Oh, maybe go this way. <laughs> Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. as part of me would rather be anywhere else. I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns.
the heck you come from? Where the hell you come from, buddy? Uh oh. No, 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 no. We got nothing. Yeah. That was behind the wall. Bro, you were just a random spawn last time. How? This game cheats, cheats. I'll give you a bullet sponge every now and then. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oi, Dani, você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro? I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all.
What's up, killer? I had to press on. I didn't want to find her just in time to watch them deliver the coup de gras. Uh -oh. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. Safado. Tá 
Vou te pegar, é? Vou te pegar antes que eu boto uma bala na tua cabeça. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. Puta! Vamos! But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. Bro, this shootout is no good. Wasn't pretty, but they are all deleted. All right. So we have drugs, but we have no medicine. These guys are worthless. Oop. Back this way. Are these supposed to be bricks and drugs? <laughs> Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. Find a button, bro. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Next circle of this low rent hell. Try to get back out the door. That didn't work.
didn't look like the damp had gotten to them. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared, proper little boy scout. Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. That gangway would get me through. get through on the catwalk if I went back into the other room. seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Keep on going across the docks.
push the button. <clears throat> there they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
not this long. The setup. Yes. Come on. Fabiana! They took her in a boat! That way! Straight ahead! Okay, okay, don't worry, hang on! Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident jumper going into the jungle alone. Shit! More company! Oh, she look, man! Fabiana's beat up! Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. That's gonna sink, dude. Watch out behind us, Passos. You see it? Fabiana's boat is in the front! Don't lose it! You fool! I have the fuck! There's some little bitch on that roof! Oh, who's back in there? Who's back in there? Keep after them! What the fuck? They're running interference! There's another boat blocking us from Fabiana! It's up! I'll drive if you can get these boats out of our way. Hey! Keep after them. We need to get past that decoy boat. So good. We got engine trouble. We'll fix it quick, there, Captain. We need to move. We ain't gonna be floating much longer. And I guess we're gonna be swimming. This shit.
Fate are welcome, pal. Hey, I got it! I got it! I knew you could do it. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, you see that? We need to look... Shit, look out! More of them! Missed us. That's us on the right. Look out! Get in that boot! <laughs> Damn it! Hey, I got an idea. Hold on. second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Some crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. 
Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Bro. Max. Wake up, Max. Come on. Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Alice está aí? O que que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. Wow. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy, is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it, if you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you, but things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bon. Até logo, Sr. Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife... ...love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. 
sim. Another bent cup, once in a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Uh, sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> Yeah, so Leo, um, so in the first game, Max Payne's wife and baby got deleted by some drug dealers. So there was like this whole drug conspiracy that was taking over the town. Then, so he took down the, the drug kingpins in the first game. Then in the second game, he, I think he fell in love with a cop. I think she was a cop or she was like a bad girl. She was like a bad guy or something like that. Fantastically And he fell in love with her. But then she got took down by, um, or she got murdered by the bad guys in that. So he had to take like down this whole enterprise in the second game. And then he got all depressed and said, heck with it. He ain't doing, being no cop no more. And that's where we are in the third game. He's just doing private duty. And he's supposed to be doing private security um, down in Brazil. And yeah, you see how that's turning out. You're out of, you're out of ammo? I'm out of ammo? What the heck? What the heck? See, the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What the This may be, uh, this may be a bit of a, oops. Oops, oops, let's go back. This may be a bit of a challenge. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! What's up, Woody? It's nice to see you, man. Let's keep going. Hey. 
server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge, right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. Yeah, Leo, it's like the like the Punisher a lot, but he stayed in law enforcement. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? <laughs> Dang, I don't got no grenades. They don't give you grenades, nothing. You gotta tough this out. Good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on. Don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Oh no. No, 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 no. They told me these guys didn't have security clearance. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause for a second. Let me check something. <laughs> That's brutal. That's so brutal. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. I don't know how this is gonna happen. <laughs> Two rooms ago, I didn't think I would survive. <laughs> Grenaded me. Oh. All right, we gotta keep trying. Max, you're losing, bro. We've got to get out of Nope. 
my final final breath. That's a good spot though. That's a good spot to hang out. Duck for cover. It's a lot more collected than out here. Alright, run for it, bro. Go. Medicine. Eat your pills. Duck for cover. Alright. again. Fix the server. Fix this or what? Give me a few minutes, eh? Get it done. Be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system is back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth.
poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Took it down. So all I did is get a headshot on him.
Is that it? Okay, I'll take it. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Oh no. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Come on, come on! If I wasn't immolated, I was going to get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this, unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse-looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Wow. Poor bastard. Rodrigo or not, Fabricast Bronco is falling apart quite literally.
Oh. I thought there was an opening there. Okay. I'm the wrong way. Come on, bro. serving me up in a churrascaria at this rate. Rodrigo or not, this way. Don't Bronco fall down in the hole. Apart, quite literally. Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Oh, hell. These guys are still alive. Still alive. The last bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where is Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her up the hill. And it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. I was a mess. 
Rodrigo Branco was dead. Fabiano was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. Hello. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so... While me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Get lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? 
É isso. Jesus. This way, come on. At least I found myself a tour guide. Hurry, mister! Party! Way I... All right, we're gonna lock it in right there. We got um, we got the Flavellas level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop gameplay right here, and we'll continue probably this weekend, maybe Saturday. Um, look out for the notification. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, we do gameplay. We got some hobbies and um, other footage coming up soon. Some other videos other than just gameplay. So look for those uh, as soon as I get a chance to get to editing and some additional B-roll footage. But yeah, games and hobbies. There'll be all kinds of fun stuff going on here in 2024. Uh, in the meantime, there'll be a lot of gameplay, of course. Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to continue out Max Payne, Max Payne 3. Uh, Mass Effect 2. I'm going to finish the playthrough of that. And a few other favorites. We're going to do some... What's old is new gameplay. We're going to bring uh, Vanquish back. Uh, we might even bring back uh, Metal Gear Rising. That's a that's a super awesome, fun one. So, um, barring any technical issues, as there's always technical issues, YouTube be tripping, as we always know. Everybody out there, like, subscribe, ring the bell, look for uh, notifications, big up yourselves, and peace. <laughs>